Hey guys, it's Jess from Freedom Gardener Girl again. It's a beautiful day here in Johns Creek, Georgia, which is about 30 minutes north of Atlanta. Not to totally triangulate <laughs> where I am, but today I'm building some more raised beds. Ha! Um, I actually had somebody reach out and uh, wanted me to build some for them. So that's what we're doing today. Um, yesterday I did a lot of um, transplanting, uh, you know, moving stuff around in the beds and try to reorganize. Planted some carrot seeds, planted my um, ever sweet, ever bearing strawberries uh, in little containers, getting them ready for outside. And uh, we also put some Yukon Gold potatoes in the potato box out here. Um, yeah. And it looks like a lot of stuff, like my collards and my spinach needs to be harvested. It's huge. And then yesterday we harvested um, a lot of the green onions and then I relocated them to a different bed because what was left um, because I needed to free up space in the other one for the carrots. So yeah, it's really busy, busy, busy week. And yeah, so I hadn't posted a video in a little bit that I would do a little short here and um, just show you guys what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, right now, as you can see, I got my saw and I got my saw horses set up. Um, excuse the trash cans in the background. And um, so yeah, I've been cutting some wood and getting the stuff ready for this for this client. So, uh, but let me let me show you some cool stuff like. Um, like I'm amazed. We've had a lot of rain all of a sudden, you know, and then it's kind of gotten hot and dry just very quickly over, over time. And, um, so anyway, but I'm assuming that, um, that has helped some with some of the growth here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you how big these, uh, collars and spinach are. They're just insane. Um, so we'll start off with... The spinach, if you look, it's, I mean, they're mammoth. They're huge. Like, yeah, I know, I need to get them out of there. They're, they're insane. Um, and then these collards, I mean, dang. I had to actually, they were bolting at the top and I had to cut, cut them off because try to keep them from doing that. These guys I transplanted out of one bed and now they're looking kind of sad. The heat's been beating down on them. I think I need to. I think I need to rewater them again. They. I watered them. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I, I put my thumb over that. I watered them last night, but the sun's really, really doing its damage today. Um, so I'm gonna have to get the hose or the sprinkler out today. Um, but yeah, you see how big those guys are. Um, and then I put some onions and some garlic in the bed. Um, again, so I moved a lot of stuff. Let me see if I can, I moved a lot of stuff over to this bed and then planted some more, uh, more garlic and onions in there. Um, heck look, look at, these guys are even suffering today. It's, it's really a hot day here. Um, kind of early in the season, but you know, sorry, I did it again. Um, but it is, it is Atlanta, you know, or North Atlanta. It just, um, it gets hot here really quick sometimes. And then we get really, you know, cold days. So just depends. Um, but yeah, and that, this big old bed here, I don't know if y'all see that. Um, yeah, I planted a ton of type of carrots. Like I got some, um, I got some seeds from Baker Creek, and I was trying them out. And it's the, I got the coyote. Was it coyote red carrots? I thought that was cool. We got cosmic purple, um, from them, and then from Southern Exposure Seeds, I got um, a variety called, um, what was it? No, no, I, I take that back. It's not cosmic purple 
from Baker Creek. It was um, Purple Dragon. I'm sorry. Purple Dragon and Coyote Red from Baker's Creek Seeds. And then um, it was the Cosmic Purple that I got from, um, from Southern Exposure. And then, of course, I had some um, leftover seeds from last year from just your regular box stores like Lowe's and, and Home Depot. The uh, Mor Morris, Fairy Morris uh, in like Burpee, um, which the, I'm hoping they're still good. A lot of the seeds have been still good. I've kept them um, in a in a like you know climate controlled environment, and um, yeah, so trying some different stuff out. Um, but my strawberries and my potatoes I got from Gurney Seeds, and. Um, Ooh, but speaking of Baker's Creek, they were really awesome. Um, I bought a bunch of seeds from them and they were really cool and they threw in two freebies. So thank you, Baker's Creek. If you guys are watching this, I appreciate it. Um, really looking forward to see what uh, your seeds do. Um, and then also just excited to see what happens with my seeds from Southern Exposure. And then um, I got a couple of things from Park Seed in South Carolina. Um, so we'll see how they go too. Um, but yeah. And of course, I've got a bunch of little um, seedlings in the house, and I've been working on transplanting them and doing all this stuff. So it's been a busy week. And then my uh, my poor Honda, as you can see in the back here, um, it's it's not going to make it much longer, and I really don't want to deal with it. So uh, I went ahead and I purchased a new truck from Carvana, and they're going to deliver it Thursday. So. I will be the new owner of a used 2013 Ford F-150 XLT, uh, 4x4. So, I'm excited about that. I've been wanting a truck for a long time, so yeah. I lucked out and found one that I can actually afford. <laughs> so, um, anyway, but um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, got or the sage is coming back to life and um let me walk y'all around here um see so i told you these guys are sad because the sun's really beating on them um, i finally put my a-frame uh trellis in here for this pea plant i'm gonna give it some friends soon um and what else i got some life coming back to um these blackberry raspberry plants let me pull that weed um and this guy this blackberry he's ah uh, he's coming real back real real strong um uh, same with the mint it's still really beautiful there may be a few dead leaves hitting it need to come off but otherwise good my largest blackberry plant that i have and she's doing fabulous um this guy's coming back in full force he's really making a good headway and then um my uh daughter's rose which she needs to um sorry if you heard the truck um uh, she needs to give it some fertilizer um but yeah it's, it's looking beautiful um we got the some of the gladiolus uh coming back um and some of the uh, lavender is actually coming back, which is cool. Um, I don't see that well enough. I may not be able to see that. I don't know. But pretty cool. Um, so if you come over to my berry patch here. And uh, you can see, um, let's see if we can get that where you guys can see it. My blueberries are coming back. Um, so that's really cool. This guy, I don't know, I'm thinking he might he might have died. But then again, if you look real closely, there is something coming back there. So I'm not going to give up on them yet. I'm going to see what happens. And uh, my raspberries are, they're uh, springing new leaves throughout the bed. So 
they've done a lot of underground growing and coming up so and I keep having to regularly weed these guys because they there's all this stuff that keeps coming up because <laughs> I got a bunch of trees around my property here but um yeah so I'm excited we got a lot of good things coming this week I've got um let's see I've got all this stuff to do into the projects we're going to go to North Carolina to see some property I'm so excited um hoping that that works out well um but yeah if anybody uh I would appreciate if you just pray for us and let, uh that uh you know that God will uh, reveal his plan to us and and show us if this is the right place to be at and or if we need to keep moving on and looking. Um, so I'm really excited about that, the opportunity to look at it and the opportunity that maybe something might happen. Um, and then it's also, uh, this weekend's my nie my niece's uh, first birthday, which is so exciting. So we're gonna go to that party and celebrate. And then I'm gonna go visit a friend on Sunday. And Monday is a trip to Caterpillar in Athens. So. Um, I'm going actually for a job interview as a welder. So I'm excited to be my first, uh, welding job if I get it. And then the rest of the week is, you know, fun. We're going to do, I'm getting my, uh, celebratory graduation tattoo, um, on Tuesday cause I got my big certificate in December. So I wanted to, um, celebrate and then that's kind of my present to myself. And then uh, Thursday, I've got an interview with uh, Northside Cherokee um, for a patient care tech, which is what I am at, cho at Children's, but um, it'd be in a cardiology setting and it would be more, um, I guess, outpatient, like Monday through Friday and stuff. So I think it'd be a nicer pace for me if I if I got that, and you know, or the welding job would be great too. I uh, I'm open to my options, so, but uh, a lot of exciting things th uh, this week and next week, so y'all keep me in your prayers. I would really appreciate it. Um, let me see. So, what can I tell you? Oh, let me tell you this cool tip. So this guy, um, I'll have to like really go back and figure out which video it was from and which channel because I want to give the guy some credit. But um, I was watching his uh, YouTube video and this gentleman was talking about tips on um, how you should properly plant your tomato seeds. And uh, I thought I would try it out. But basically it's, you take two solo cups, you take one and you put holes in the bottom of it. The other one you set the solo cup inside of it. Put your um, seedling mix or your homemade mix. Um, and then you would plant your tomato seeds, put about two, I put about two to three um, just to make sure I have germination, uh, guaranteed germination. And then um, I experimented and saw what that was doing. And I tried some in the regular little tiny cells and um, transplanted those into bigger little uh, disposable pots. So I've tried both methods now. And I will tell you that this gentleman, uh, this, this YouTuber, and I will go back and figure out which one it is and give some credit um, and to put the link in the description so you can find it but he did that he did the solo cup method and I will testify um, to you that that method works beautifully those tomato sprouts those little seedlings they are so much bigger they're so much like the stalks are so much hardier already and it's only been maybe two weeks so very good tip. Um, use solo cups, you guys. <laughs> the double solo cup method. Um, highly recommend it. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to see how they keep growing. Um, but yeah, so I'll have to show you that in another video. See, let you see an update and see how they are or, or, or snap a picture and just post it. All right. But anyway, I got to go. I got some work to do. And I just wanted to post a real quick video and um, share an update and and that was my tip of the day, basically. So, all right, we, you can find me on YouTube here. Uh, find me on Facebook, Instagram, 
and TikTok. Um, post, I try to post them weekly, but sometimes it may be every other week. So, alrighty guys, please, please, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tell your friends. It all helps me out tremendously so I can get this, um, get this content out to people and we can build a community together. Um, that's really what I'm aiming to do. And that, uh, you know, help me with the likes and the shares and subscribe. So yes, please subscribe, hit the bell notification and like the video, share it with your friends and I'll see you on the next one. Until next time, it's a beautiful day outside. Get outside, plant something. Have a fabulous day. God bless. Bye.